Yay, so today we're gonna do like a witch bar kind of a thing. So these are all the things that I got. I got, these are all Dollar Tree items. So we're gonna see if we can DIY some cool things. You know, what's really hard about making videos is finding time away from your kids to be able to do them. My older kids are finally home, so they're gonna help out with the baby while I try to get this done. There might be a little bit of background noise and I apologize for that. So, yes. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is take out all the tags, um, wash them out, and I will get back with you for the next step. It's very important. I, uh, um, thankfully with Dollar Tree items, it's really easy, especially if it's glass, to just run them under hot water and uh, we'll get the job done. So, yes, I'll be right back. So these are the items that I wanna go ahead and spray paint. I haven't decided about him yet, I'll know in a second. But these are the items that I wanna spray paint. This glass jar, these things, they're going to be um, trays, um, this plate, and then these glass items, and this little thing with um, the caps. I don't know if this is gonna work. I was at Target the other day and they actually had test tubes. So I may just buy the Target ones, but we'll see how these work out and if I like them. So, yeah. So what I wanna do first is I'm gonna attempt, I wanted to give these I mean, they're covers for your stove. Um, I wanted to have a little bit of detail here, so I got this, but it doesn't quite, it's too big. So I'm gonna try to cut it out as small as I can and then um, glue them on to the side. Oh my god, these scissors are working so much better. Yeah, don't use kid scissors for this, use normal scissors. Okay, so one of these um, was enough to cover both of these covers. Um, and like I said, this is how much I have left of the pumpkins and then we have a bunch of extra of the jewels. So I'm gonna go outside right now and we're gonna spray paint everything that needs to be spray painted. I decided to add them to the candlesticks. Um, so we shall see what they look like after they're spray painted. So all I'm doing is I'm taking the double and measuring it out and cutting it so at the very beginning they were at six six studs each round and towards the top we're looking at seven so i'm gonna continue and i'm just gonna cover the stem of this candlestick holder and see what it looks like So I just had this idea, instead of having the one strips, you could probably use the ones that have one, or cutting them to one, and literally loop it around. So we're gonna try that now, instead of cutting, seems like a lot of work. So it just hit me that probably, if I use a single one, it'd be a lot easier. So we're gonna test that out.
So here's the difference when you do the one strip and you roll it around, they come out very uneven. Um, I'm pretty sure if this was just a straight uh, tube, that wouldn't be the case. It would actually fall very nicely, but because it feathers out or opens up or I don't know, it kind of, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, we're looking for a creepy effect, so I guess that one would work. If you actually cut and you do row by row, cut and attach, you can actually get the gems to line up. Obviously, I didn't do a very good job of actually lining them up, but I tried. You may be better, but I'm not worried. I kind of want to see what these look like spray painted, and yeah, so now we're ready to spray paint our stuff. So I was gonna, they took forever to dry, but this is what they look like. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and just glue them to the candy sticks with all right. And this is how it turned out. I'm very excited. I think it's very cute. Um, everything here is from the Dollar Tree except the decanter tags that are from the Target Bullseye Spot and then the sign. Um, everything is Ellis's Dollar Tree. I actually really like how the designs came out from those adhesive strips. I think they came out really creepy looking and awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this DIY. Let's see if you can see the candle details. You really can't. I'm sorry, my baby's being very loud in the background. But yeah. thank you for watching.